Hi guys, how's it going? So today we're talking about how Facebook are officially going to be launching a side loading platform and whether this really means it's going to be the end of SideQuest. So let's go. If you're new to VR Essentials, very nice to meet you. We talk about VR educational entertainment and the practical uses of virtual reality. And a big welcome back, of course, to all our regular subscribers. Always awesome to have you among us and a big thank you for your continued support. So today we're talking about how Facebook have officially announced that in Q1 of 2021, they will officially launch a brand new side learning platform, which will enable any Facebook Quest users to experience new VR titles that are not necessarily in the official Oculus Store. Just a very quick disclaimer that you will need a Facebook account in order to use the Oculus Quest 2. Facebook have been proven to have broken both antitrust and anti-competitive laws. Now do go and check out another video which I uploaded very recently which will give you some really cool privacy tips so that you can use your Oculus Quest 2 with a Facebook account without worrying too much about it. Now if you're not familiar back in March 2019 basically what happened is there was a guy called Shane Harris and his wife who were both developers and had submitted a VR application to Facebook but of course Facebook have such a stringent review process that 99.9% .9 of all developers are simply denied. This spurred them to basically try and find a backdoor where he created a platform which enabled him to basically upload his VR app for other people to be able to download and experience. Through their genius, they were unable to make their platform available to the general public, which basically spurred a whole bunch of developers to upload all the VR experiments onto what was then called SideQuest. SideQuest both became a brewing ground for VR experiments, but also other titles that eventually did make it to the actual Oculus Store. In fact, it became so popular that the original creator of Oculus itself, Palmer Lucky, became one of the investors in SideQuest, which can, you know, make us ask some questions about the future of SideQuest itself. By the way, remember to become part of the notification squad by enabling the notification bell after you hit subscribe so you never get to miss another video, which I upload quite frequently to the channel. So why would someone like Palmer Lucky invest his money into SideQuest? Well, basically this means that potentially there is a long-term future for it, but how would it develop and what will change? Well, let's explore. So the first thing we need to look at really is the ecosystem itself. For example, we know that Facebook are not purely going to be releasing Quest products. They're undoubtedly going to start releasing other kind of VR headsets, which will have a different name. So will SideQuest eventually have to change its name to something else? The other question is of course that if you have people who start in investing serious money into something, then generally it means that, you know, eventually their goal is to make it IPO or list it on a stock exchange of some kind, which basically means that SideQuest is going to have to evolve and start to provide a viable commercial business model, which enables to sell products and services to make it profitable. And then the other thing, of course, if we look at things like Steam, which is owned by Valve, where basically everyone can go and download all their favorite PC VR titles, well, it means that is SideQuest eventually going to open up to various different VR headsets you know, providing developers the ability for people to download VR titles that will work not just on the Facebook Quest, but also on an HP Reverb G2, for example. Not forgetting, of course, that the future of VR is not going to be dependent on a VR headset anymore, as for example, OpenXR, which will become the norm eventually, provides developers the ability to create VR titles, which are cross-compatible for all the various different VR headset manufacturers of any kind. And this is going to be done because basically people can go and use a browser online and then boom, they won't even have to download anything. They can straight away enable the app from that browser directly. Now, of course, Facebook are known to basically breach anti-competitive laws, which basically means they kill off anyone they possibly can that potentially rivals even a tiny little bit with the platform. So it is very possible that they, of course, will kill off SideQuest from the platform. And also there is another breadcrumb that leaves a little trail as to what potentially could happen. Let me let me explain. By the way, just a reminder that there are other cool videos which I uploaded very recently to the channel, which you may want to go and check out after this video, including the update of the Oculus Quest version 23, the best prescription lenses you could purchase for the Oculus Quest 2, the Valve Index, and also the top tips from pro YouTubers. Now, in case you're not familiar, back in March, Facebook had actually updated the entire user interface inside of the first Oculus Quest, which basically meant they redid it completely and entirely. Now, what was really quite funny about it at the time was that 
SideQuest was not available for a number of weeks. It was actually really hard to be able to access the unknown resources until eventually they made it much easier for people to access it. And then again, you were able to basically play any SideQuest apps at any time. Now, at the time, there were different rumors where basically Oculus, which was known then before Facebook, were going to remove SideQuest from the platform altogether for a different number of reasons. One of which were basically it went against the policies because none of the VR applications were being reviewed by Oculus at the time and then Facebook today. Now, the only reason why Facebook would want to potentially keep SideQuest having the ability to access its platform for people to use the VR titles is because, of course, Facebook is in hot water for breaching antitrust and anti-competitive laws, which makes a lot of people uncomfortable, especially developers, to work for a platform where they get ultimately the final say. So there might be a large database of developers who would still rather work with SideQuest, which will give a door or a gateway to Facebook to keep those relationships going with those various developers and then eventually potentially invest in them as they did, for example, with Beat Saber. Now, while the short and midterm outcome of SideQuest might actually be pretty bleak when it comes to the actual Facebook platform, in the long term, I do see it developing. The question is, how is it going to develop? Well, only time will tell.